Welcome to VR. VR is the leading 4D imaging sensor uh, in the world today. Uh, what we're doing here is a new type of sensor that is using radio waves uh, to see the world around you and actually see things that you cannot see. Radio waves can penetrate uh, different materials and allows you to see what's behind them. And we're using this for different applications from breast cancer imaging all the way through uh, automotive. This is little sensor I'm holding in my hand, as you can see here, is actually a new type of camera. A camera without pictures, a camera that will allow you to be safe, but also will keep your privacy. This device allows you to track uh, everything that is going on uh, in the house, basically. Each uh, device covers a, a whole uh, room, it can cover very large rooms like uh, four by four uh, meters, sometimes even five by five. And while tracking uh, the person, we are able to give alerts uh, for different uh, events that are uh, happening uh, in that uh, house. Elderly market is a very large market. And when you think about it, most of our lives uh, are in our home. Either we were sleeping, uh, we're in the shower, etc. And when you, took it, when you look at the uh, elderly care, we have no eyes into these uh, rooms. The key thing behind this uh, device is the fact that it keeps your privacy. There's no uh, cameras, there's no lens, there's no pictures. Uh, what the device uh, sees, basically, it's a bunch of blobs, uh, a point cloud that creates uh, uh, your body your body shape, and even if someone hacks into the system, they are not able to uh, get any uh, pictures. So uh, from that perspective, the person uh, can you know, be safe in his uh, home and uh, he won't be exposed to anybody else. On the other hand, we are able to track if the person is sitting, lying down, breathing. We can know if he's uh, walking, how fast he's walking, uh, uh, etc. This information uh, in the coming uh, uh, you know, future will help us to analyze the behavior of that person uh, at home. Another thing that we do is if someone uh, falls, we alert uh, not only 911, but we can also alert uh, the caregivers. Sometimes people don't want to be um, uh, kind of making calls to 911. They prefer their caregivers, uh, their daughters, uh, sons, spouse, um, to know about it first, and we are able uh, uh, to do that. Another uh, place uh, that is actually very uh, dangerous uh, for older people is the bathroom. The floor is slippery. Uh, usually you take off, you know, uh, everything from you, like phones, uh, etc. So if someone falls in the bathroom, his ability to reach um, uh, any, any uh, device uh, to make a call to his uh, uh, caregivers is very, very limited. Sometimes also when someone sleeps, he gets a hit uh, on the head, loses conscience, and uh, basically lies on the floor for a few hours until someone uh, finds, uh, finds him or her. This is very important, uh, and our device, as you can see here, can monitor the entire room, but not only uh, it can see what's going on in the room, it can see through things. So one of the things that we um, uh, have in showers our curtains and since we're using uh, very low power radio waves we can penetrate uh, curtains we can uh, uh, penetrate uh, glass uh, even if it's uh, uh, steamy something like that uh, optics cannot do and we can detect if someone uh, if someone fell uh, fell down what we're going to show now is a quick demo of, uh, of a fall and we can see how the device can see through um, that specific uh, uh, glass and, uh, and detect him. Okay, so here again, uh, once the alarm is on, a message is sent and um, that is something that uh, uh, immediately alerts the caregiver and um, uh, with that, uh, we have uh, full safety all around uh, the house.
Our sensor can uh, save lives in many different ways. And basically our what we're trying to do uh, is to be able to uh, be everywhere around you uh, with a sensor that keeps your privacy, uh, but also keeps your safety. The multiple markets are just growing. There's more and more applications that we're uh, dealing with. So I hope you enjoyed this and I would like to thank you very much for joining me for this uh, tour.